Creating a data flow diagram in Dryo is so quick and easy, you'll feel like a diagramming pro in no time. Data flow diagrams, or DFDs, are powerful tools for mapping out how data moves through a system. They're often used to spot inefficiencies, fix bottlenecks, or simply get a clearer picture of your process. But here's the thing, while they sound technical, they don't have to be difficult to create. I'm Eric, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a data flow diagram from scratch in Dryo using nothing more than a data flow diagram shape library. No templates, no shortcuts, just you and the tool. So let's get started. To create your diagram, start with a blank Dryo workspace in Confluence. From your Confluence page, type forward slash Dryo to add the macro and open a new diagram. You can now see our template manager, and from here, you can view and choose a data flow diagram. But today, it's all about creating a DFD from scratch. So we'll start with a blank canvas. All right, so now we have our blank canvas. Let's enable the tools that we'll need. Enable the data flow diagram shape library. The data flow diagram shape library provides all the building blocks you'll need. Click the More Shapes button here in the left side menu, and then scroll to Software and check the box next to Data Flow Diagrams, and then hit Apply to load them into your library. Now you've got access to standardized shapes, including external entities, processes, data stores, and data flows. Before we start building, let's quickly go over the keys of a data flow diagram. And don't worry, for today's example, there are only four main elements to keep in mind, and they're pretty straightforward. External entities. These represent the sources or destinations of data outside the system you're diagramming. Think of them as a starting or ending point for data, like a customer placing an order. Processes. Processes show how the data is transformed or acted upon within the system. For example, when a customer adds an item to their cart, that's a process. Processes are usually shown with circles or ovals. Data stores. These represent where data is stored in your system, like a database or shopping cart. Data stores are typically drawn as rectangles with round corners or as cylinders. And finally, we have data flows. These are the arrows that show how the information is moving between the entities, processes, and data stores. So for example, an arrow from customer to add a product to cart might be labeled select items. Once you understand these four elements, you're gonna have the building blocks for any data flow diagram. All right, now that you know the parts, we can start to put them together to build a simple pizza delivery process. I'm gonna add external entities by dragging a rectangle from a shape library onto the canvas to represent the external entities. I'm gonna label it customer to show where the process starts. Now I'm gonna add processes. I'm gonna use a circle to represent a process. I'm gonna drag one onto my canvas and I'm gonna label it take order. I'm gonna repeat this for other key processes such as prepare pizza and deliver pizza. Now I'm gonna grab one of these cylinders to represent where the data is stored. I'm going to label this order details because this is where we store the specifics of each customer's order. And I'm going to add another one for inventory because this is where we attract the available ingredients for our pizza preparation. Now I'm going to use the arrows to show how data moves between the elements. So for instance, I'm going to draw an arrow from customer to take order labeled order request. I'm also going to connect take order to order details to store the customer details. I'm going to draw an arrow from take order to prepare pizza labeled order info. Then I'm gonna connect prepare pizza to inventory after the pizza is made. And finally, I'm gonna connect prepare pizza to deliver pizza and deliver pizza to customer. And that's it, creating a data flow diagram from scratch in Dryo is easier than you think. Whether you're mapping out an e-commerce workflow or visualizing a software process or just getting a better handle on your team's operation, Dryo has the tools you need to bring clarity to your work. And now is your turn. Head to Dryo and Confluence and try building your own data flow diagram today. If you haven't explored Dryo yet, you can get a 30 day free trial. Just head over to the Alassia Marketplace. In the comment section, we would love to hear from you about what diagrams you would like us to tackle next. Until next time, stay connected.